Right, guys, so we booked tickets for The Lion King for Friday. As of recording, it is Tuesday. I don't know why I had to think about that. Um, so all day at work, I've been listening to the soundtrack, and I've been really, you know, staying away from promo for this film. I have no idea why, because uh, the more I think about it, I realise that um, I've seen The Lion King a million times. It's not a new film. So, first song on the soundtrack that I was drawn to was Be Prepared. Now, Be Prepared for me on the original Lion King film is special. So when I rewatched the film as an adult, I instantly fell in love with Scar's character. I didn't appreciate him at all as a kid. And there's one line in the end of the song, and if you just listen to the lyrics, I mean, all my young kings out there, just take a moment to forget that this is a Disney film and listen to the lyrics, because this will pick you up and it will inspire you to work hard, because he is inspiring. He may be evil, but he's still inspiring. So he says, I'll be king, undisputed, respected, saluted, and I'll be seen for the wonder I am. Let that sink in for a sec, because that is powerful stuff. The character knows what he's talking about. And yeah, Scar is just a mood in that film. He is a mood. He is a mindset and he is how you've got to be. Anyway, I'm going off on one. Um, yeah, so in the soundtrack, it's new actors for majority apart from Mufasa. And I think he does a pretty good job of the film. Like of the film, um, of the song. I've not seen the film yet. It's only Tuesday. Yeah, he does a pretty good job. And I'm going to have to be that guy at this moment in time. Um, I prefer the original because, I don't know, it holds a special place for me. Like It's a bit personal. I prefer the original, but don't get me wrong, it's still an amazing song. And it does the film justice. And I'm at a point. But basically what I'm trying to say is, it sounds amazing, but I prefer the original. Okay, so the second song that I was drawn to was actually the second song I listened to on the um, soundtrack itself. And that was, I Just Can't Wait To Be King. Now, when I was a young'un, I loved this song. I thought it was upbeat, it was catchy, it was fun. And don't get me wrong, this film does it justice. It, I don't hate it at all. But again, I'm, just to keep a long story short, I prefer the original. Because, I don't know, just the memories, the nostalgia. It's, it was just my favourite one in the whole film at the time. So, I'm sorry, but for my two favourite songs of the whole film, you can't be the original. But I love what the new voice actors do. And, you know what I mean, they're really going to do this film justice. Okay, so, this is where we start getting to the iconic songs of the, um, in the film. And... They might seem like a bit of a pattern for me, but the next one I listened to after I Just Can't Wait To Be King was Hakuna Matata. Now, this song sort of transcended Lion King to the point where, for a time when I was younger, I didn't even realise that Hakuna Matata was a Lion King song. I just thought it was Timon and Pumbaa. But I'm not going to lie, the voice actors for Timon and Pumbaa in this, Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen, they're great. I mean, um... They switch up a little bit during the song and it's actually made me laugh and I'm looking forward to see their performance with Mona Pumba. So yeah, long story short, this is better than the original and it literally, I think this song is the thing that really got me excited to see the actual film itself. Like, looking past the music for the film, Hakuna Matata was funny, like, I was genuinely like standing in the middle of work laughing and they did a great job of that, better than the original. So on Hakuna Matata, I love it how it starts as a child actor because the child voice actor is, sounds great, you know. It's can't be said anything, but I love the casting of Donald Glover as the older Simba because I was never really a fan of Matthew Broderick as the older Simba. I'm not gonna lie, but Donald Glover, yes, I'm all for that. So when I saw Candy for the Love Tonight and it is Donald Glover and Beyonce. Seeing Candy for the Love Tonight, that's the thing that made me click on the soundtrack altogether. It is the thing that's made me get tickets for Friday and made me even want to start talking about it because there's some serious star power, like not just in the cast but for the music as well. And yeah, the song's beautiful, man. Like, 
you don't have a heart if that if you didn't feel anything when listening to that. I was never a big fan of Candy for the Love Tonight in the original Lion King. I used to skip it or like switch off mentally whenever it came on, but damn, what a song. 